It shall be done. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. So I am led to understand that the sister is a follower of this maker. Am I the sister? Oh, that's so cute. It's like you're my big brother. Or sister. Or whatever. I am a creature of stone. I rather doubt that we would be related in any shape or form. Oh, I didn't mean literally. Don't you think that people can be related in spirit? I notice that humans tend to believe in a great number of things that are not true even when given evidence to the contrary. Believing in things when there is no proof is what faith is all about, Shale. Believing in things when there is no proof is what gullibility is all about. So I am gullible now. I uh, take it we are no longer sisters in spirit. The deep dark before dawn's first light seems eternal. But know that the sun will be My client appreciates your generosity. Turn your attention elsewhere. My business does not concern you. I doubt that. Hmm. Yes, you're right. This is very interesting. I'll take this note from you and I'll confiscate this lyrium as evidence. You have done a great thing here, friend. Those rogue mages' days are numbered.
It's done. Our continued friendship is guaranteed. With this, you seal your guild success. I'll do it. I, uh, may have a cause to apologize to the sister. Apologize? For what? For suggesting that the sister was gullible for believing in things which were not real. Oh, that! I'd already forgotten about that. Thank you for reminding me. I suppose it would offer some comfort to believe that things occur according to some grand purpose. All those years I spent in Honleith, unable to move, it would be comforting to think there was some reason for it. Do you know there wasn't? Perhaps the Maker did it to bring you here, to us. You once said that you had no purpose. Perhaps you are simply looking for it in the wrong place. Perhaps. I shall think on this. Yes? I didn't know your husband very well, but I'm sure he was a good man. He has fallen in battle. What? This is terrible! My beloved! It speaks. It doesn't have better things to do. That is true. I do not. I'm not interested in getting into a discussion on the subject, however. Ask another time. If it is done asking overly obvious questions, let us find some humans to throw off a cliff or something. I'm here for you.
Of course. There are many rumors about spies, or lesion or otherwise. What are you referring to exactly? Oh, I see what you're getting at. Honestly? Yes. Why shouldn't I? Violence is not the only solution. People respond eagerly to others who they believe understand them. They seek approval, friendship, sometimes love. This can be exploited. They never complained. Well, they did, but usually after they found out what I had done. Never during. Everyone can be seduced by the right woman. The trick is predicting who she is and becoming her. Master the game and no one can resist you. That is what they all say. I suppose we will never know, will we? I'm certainly not going to test you. <laughs> that would be something to see. He thinks he'll charm me. I didn't say that. I did say it would be something to see, didn't I? You're an interesting person. Sometimes I don't know what to make of you, but... I like it. But come, it is getting late and there is much to be done. It has been some time since I left Lothering. When I stepped out of the cloister, I had no idea where my path would lead. I walked where the Maker led me and he has rewarded me for my faith. I found you. Something like that. The Maker wants his children to be happy. Would he have created in us the capacity for love if he did not intend for us to find it? Yes, that gloriously rich and decadent emotion that one finds oneself hopelessly stuck in. Much like caramel pudding. Oh, I have tales of pudding like you would not believe. Perhaps we could retire to my tent, and I could regale you. I didn't know you had a journal. I wrote in it regularly. Well, maybe you could bring it to my tent and I could watch you write. I could give suggestions. Dear Journal, Liliana has shown much affection for me, even asked me to come to bed with her. But alas, subtlety is lost on me. Oh, now he gets it. Oh, don't second guess me. It's not becoming. Come here, and no arguing this time.
I've been up for some time, but yes, I slept very well. I've just been watching you sleep. Did you know your eyelids flutter when you dream? And you have such pretty eyelashes. Mm -hmm. They're like little butterflies. I want to catch them and keep them in a jar. <laughs> I'm so happy, blissful. I haven't slept so well since I was forced to flee from Orlais. Knowing you will be the first thing I see when I wake gives me no small amount of comfort. I feel safe in your arms. Safe, loved and accepted. This is where I belong. Thank you. I suppose I should get up. We have a long day ahead of us. Come on, Darkspawn await with bated breath for you to put them out of their misery. What are you... Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I suppose the Darkspawn will just have to wait a bit longer. Doesn't that violate your vows? What? What kind of question is that to just blurt out? What do we have going? Yes, I'm that blind. I so totally did not see you ogling each other before. He was not ogling me, was he? Was he really ogling me? Now that you say it, I'm not sure. Maybe he wasn't ogling you. I don't know. I could always ask him. You can't do that. Could you? You couldn't do that. I could, but I won't. Next thing you'll have me pulling his hair and passing him love letters. I... just mind your own business. How inappropriate. Ask me anything. On my way. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. I am the person appointed to stop all unauthorized access to the Circle Tower. Meaning you, because you're unauthorized. No. I have one job and one job only, and by the Maker's shiny gold cutlery, I will do it. Oh, and he's told you that, has he? Well, you're still not getting into this tower. Yes? Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha! So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents, too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Don't question royalty. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. That dark-eyed temptress over there, surely the tower would be far too dull for her. Because it gets a little lonely out here sometimes. And, you know, you could just leave her with me. Oh, excellent. I have been hoping for new prey. Prey? It will take but a moment. Perhaps you should go aboard the vessel to prepare while we are away. We must row ourselves across. I fear the lad will no longer have the use of his limbs or his eyes once I am done with him. Oh, well, um, maybe I, I should, um... Wonderful. I can sense his terror. Oh, that will make the loving all the sweeter.
So, you said you wanted to get across. Maybe we should go now, right now, now. Come along, I suppose. and I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The Tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the Tower's halls. The Circle is lost. The Tower has fallen. Creatures of the Fade can use mages to enter our world. A mage in such a spirit's clutches is changed, his flesh twisted, his mind shattered. We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations. Not the horde that fell upon us. It is our duty as Templars to watch the Circle Tower. We will stand guard to make sure nothing leaves. Nothing. I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. Not just mages, but my Templars also. I had no choice. The abominations must be contained at all costs. We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. I have sent word to Denerim calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If there was, do you not think I would have chosen it? There are only abominations left in this tower. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. A while ago, and it worries me. The civil war has no doubt caused much turmoil. Has the Chantry been caught up in it? I can only guess. Denrim must have received our message. It cannot be much longer. I too would like to know how this started. It is the innocent folk of Ferelden who matter. 
I would lay down my life and the life of any mage to protect them. No abomination must cross this threshold. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Yes, was there something else you wanted? As I said, I do not know. Perhaps you will find answers in the tower. The tower has been quiet for a while. I suppose I have time to answer your questions. Carol. He's generally a good lad, but a little strange, yes. He should probably be in Denerim, but I could spare no one else. My history does not concern you. I am sure you have better things to do than pry into someone else's personal life. Do not misunderstand. I do not want to do this. I do, however, see that the right of annulment may be necessary. An unprepared village or town would be devastated should even one abomination chance upon it. We cannot allow it. And the mages, if any live, I do not know what they may have become. We may have to kill them to be certain. They'll rip you apart and eat you from the inside. My wounds! They burn! It's unbearable! I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies and I don't know how much longer we'll last. We need the abominations and demons out of this place, if that's what you mean. If you have anything to trade, that would be helpful too.
I have a thought. Ah, <laughs> such wit. Truly, you and Mother should form a troop of jesters and tour the countryside. We have an opportunity that I believe we should take advantage of. To the point. My mother was once divested of a particular grimoire by a most annoying Templar hunter. It occurred long before I was born, but even today, Flemeth speaks of the loss with great rage. With the circle of magi in such disarray, it occurs to me that this might be the perfect time to recover the tome from their possession, for surely it eventually ended up in their hands? Flemeth is a sorceress of legend, is she not? And her grimoire would be more than a mere curiosity to mages that daren't even glance towards the places my mother has walked for eons. No doubt tis considered something dangerous, perhaps best locked away somewhere dark, yes? And if not, then at least I know it does not exist. But there is no harm in looking, surely? Tis a book of spells, of the sort that Flemeth has dabbled with throughout her long life. Tis not the sort of thing that would benefit a mage of the standard variety. They were taught a different path. I, however, was taught by my mother. I know a way around the wards my mother would have placed on such a tome. I know the language that she would have written it in. I would find such a tome most useful. Useful in the way that it might increase my power. Useful in the way that I would become more useful to you. Does that not follow? Dangerous? All knowledge is potentially dangerous. If you have some fear of me such that I should not be allowed such knowledge, then by all means deprive me of it. I have no ulterior motive for seeking it, however. I did not think of it earlier. Truly, Mother has assumed for a long time that the tome was lost forever. I only remembered it now after thinking what treasures might be found in the Circle of Magi's Tower now in its condition. My eternal gratitude? At the very least, it shall enable me to help you more. If that is not enough, you can certainly dictate other rewards. Good. I am most interested to see its contents, should it be located. The grimoire is leather-bound and adorned with the symbol of a leafless tree, should you come across it. If not, however, then I shall simply put it out of my mind. As I Stay recall, the shutting tower. the door and throwing away the key life. was definitely the Templar Plan B. So the mages are all locked within fitting end for those who gave up their own freedom. This is too cruel. I would not subject even an animal to such a terrible oh. fate. <laughs> I shall. Right away. truly do not believe in any sort of higher power? It has been bothering you, I see. No, I do not. Must I? What do you believe happens to you after you die, then? Nothing? I, I do not go to sit by the Maker's side, if that's what you mean. Only those who are worthy are brought to the Maker's side. So many other sad souls are left to wander in the void, hopeless. 
forever lost. And what evidence of this have you? <laughs> I see only spirits. No wandering ghosts of wicked disbelievers. It must be so sad to look forward to nothing. To feel no love and seek no reward in the afterlife. Yes, the anguish tears at me so. You have seen through me to my sad, sad core. Now you're simply mocking me. You notice? It appears your perceptive powers know no bounds. It's you. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. The tower is a place of learning. Young apprentices are always here. Why is that surprising? But this is no time to discuss that. Why are you here? Why did the Templars let you in? And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the Circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the Circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. True, we have little time. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. No, I know the tower, and I know what we face. And if the Circle is indeed lost, and all the mages dead, I would see this for myself. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle, mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. Look at how they live. Servants of the Chantry. They lack respect for themselves and their own power. Why should I respect them? I could be here had my mother not shielded me from the Templars, so I am to show sympathy. My mother often said that things are the way they are because they could not have been any other way. I always questioned this. Do what you wish. I care not. Do not patronize me, Petra. 
Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Your confidence is refreshing, though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Indeed. Indeed. Quickly. Look after her, will you? I don't know if she's up to this, especially not after... I just worry. I was on my way down to the library when I heard screaming and a demon came around the corner. Its eyes were afire with evil. I was certain it was my death come upon me. I think I screamed. I was so afraid. And then Wynne was there, in front of me, shielding me. It was light and fire, blood and chaos. When it was over, the demon was dead, but Wynne wasn't moving either. I was so afraid she was... gone. As I moved to help her, she stirred and coughed. I don't know what I would have done if she had died for me. I know. I owe her too much. Just look after her, all right? She might be completely fine, but then again, maybe she didn't come away from that totally unharmed. Thank you. And thank you again for helping us. It is good to see that some wardens survived. We are sorry for the loss of your comrades. You heard about Logan. I would never have imagined the Terran a traitor. Wynne was at Ostagar. She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of things past? Be careful in there, and stay safe. I'm here. I heard the Templars talking about chasing down a Malefica yesterday. I don't suppose this is what you expected the Circle to be like, is it? I 
I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to... to do away with us. No, don't say that. It's not true. You deserve to live just like anyone else. The swords are like the... the sword of mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. Andraste only died because of man's foolishness and pride. We need to atone for this. We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. Swift sword and deliver I heard the Templars talking about chasing again. down a Malefica yesterday. What was that noise? You should be on your way. The sooner yes, this is of course the better. Oh, come, swift sword. Good luck. I might find the maker again. Here we are. I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? Be on your guard. On your way. All right. Be on your guard. Right away.
as you like. It's done. my way. Right away.
I shall. As you like. do it. Oh, this is rather awkward. What? I'm not supposed to be here. Not right now. Owain's room is near here. I hope he's all right. <gasps> you can feel the charge in the air, can you not? A great power has been unleashed in this place. Do you hear that? I think there's someone near here. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. The stockroom is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the Tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. Nial the Mage. He came here with several others and took the litany of Adralo. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Niall was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Niall. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye.
Please do not draw attention On to my me. way. I would like to remain in one piece. What are we doing? Have you thought about it? We're making sure no one disrupts Aldrin's plan. I thought it was quite important. Keep your eyes open. What? You're going to stay with us! I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. The magic was a means to an end. It gave us... It gave me the power to fight for what I believed. Fighting for what you believe is commendable, but the ends do not always justify the means. You don't really believe that, do you, Win? Change rarely comes peacefully. Andraste waged war on the Imperium. She didn't write them a strongly worded letter. She reshaped civilization, freed the slaves, and gave us the Chantry. But people died for it. We thought, someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. But I... I would like a chance to atone for what I've done. Please, if you spare me, I... I could escape and seek penance at the Chantry. I just want my life. Please. I'll find a way, please. I swear I'll do something good with my life. Surely turn his eyes on you for your mercy. Generous gift. Thank you ever so much. Be quick. You need me? It's done. Right the tower away. was here long before the circle. It was always unlikely that we were the first to bring magic to its halls. The precious circle, not even the first to touch the fade in their own tower. How appropriate.
the light. Hey. A fine gift. You have my thanks. Hello? I'm nobody. I'm harmless. Please, leave me alone. But the demons... If you're sure, it's safe. I could take a peek outside. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yes. I have a crick in my back and my bum's gone numb. Oh, holy maker, look at this. Those demons didn't know what hit them, did they? Godwin, mage of the Circle of Ferelden. At your service. There were demons everywhere, blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very, very quiet. I just really want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. And go where? The Templars have locked the door. I'm just going to stay here and see what happens. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times.
my way. Right away. Books, books, is that all these mages do with their time here? All this must have belonged to someone important. This is Irving's office. I half expected to find him here, but I suppose that's too much to hope for. As you like. my way.
Warden. What? You found Flemeth's grimoire? But when I spoke of it to you, I did not truly hope... <gasps> this is a most fortuitous event. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. I suppose something is deserved for all your efforts, is it not? I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be... interesting. Ask me anything. Mm -hmm. Strange that we have not seen more resistance. Where are all the mages, I wonder? All dead? Everyone's gone. Or dead. I fear the worst. I don't like this place. I feel like I'm being watched. It's done. Pleasant. 
you need me? On my way. As you like. Tricked into a partial writ. Curiosity unchecked became greed for this unfortunate apprentice. Yes, of course. I shall. I shall. I'll do it. Right away.
I shall.
It's done. Of course. Strange thing. Pure, literal distraction. Born of arrogance, I shall. It's by some powerful it right away. Idiot who didn't keep his thoughts to himself. So that thing was just random thought? How powerful were the minds that unleashed it?
is most intriguing. Corruption not unlike the Darkspawns. Perhaps they are related. No! Ah, I'm going to have nightmares after this. This... this cannot continue. We have to stop it. You are not religious, yes? You do not believe? I do, to some extent. It does not govern my life, however. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. You are just a very good person, and it shows. And I thought at first you were religious like some of the revered mothers. But no. I thought about it, and I realized that you're not. I do what I do because I enjoy it. Because I enjoy teaching others, helping them. I do not seek recognition for my works. I do not seek the approval of my peers, nor the approval of a distant god. That is admirable, doing good for its own sake. Some I knew were not like that. They bragged about what they did, trying to impress others. Oh, Lady Adele, you fed and clothed twenty orphans. How noble. No, no, it's nothing, Lady Clarabelle. You treated forty lepers and gave them massages. Like a competition with false modesty. Sickening. Um, did Lady Clarabelle really give forty lepers massages? Who knows? Lady Clarabelle had strange tastes. I wouldn't be surprised if she did that and more. Yes, of course. me anything. Out with it.
tell me. Practicing my penmanship. She wraps me on the knuckles if my letters are not formed correctly. Yes, it is important for a young man to be able to write. And what about you, my dearest Lisa? Mother is teaching me to play the harp. And I helped with supper. Well, it is delicious. Thank you. Isn't this wonderful, husband? Isn't our life perfect? Yes, it is all perfect. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. She's feeding off his innermost desires and taking away his will. This... this is unholy. Apparently, you can get your desire and still suffer horribly. It is truly a lesson for all who consider marriage. How long will you keep him in this stupor? Will he know it when his body fails and death claims him? A short, blissful existence is preferable to an interminable one of misery. We are partners. I give him what no one else can, and through him, I experience what it is to be mortal. What happiness! He has gone through life empty, resentful of his vows. You would return him to this? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. Perhaps we will escape. Perhaps we will not. You have my thanks, if that means anything to you. You will not see us again. Was that the right thing to do? It seems wrong, but the man is happy. And that's a good thing, isn't it? Come, my pet. We are going for a walk. The children want you to show them all the stars in the night sky. dear of you. Thank you so much.
ellas? As you like. As you like. I shall. do it.
Aren't you tired of all the violence in this world? I know I am. Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. This is ridiculous. You cannot expect me to rest on a floor sticky with blood. I will not listen to your lies, demon. You have no power over me. Resist. You must resist. Else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve everything.